Ladies and gentlemen, I created a list of 50 myths and blushers that you guys sent me. And in this video, we're going to be testing all of them out to see if they're real or fake in one video. And for our first myth, it says that Paw has an infinite ranged attack. Now, I've heard a lot of people talk about this myth before, but today I'm going to try it out myself to see if it's true. To test this theory, I have my friend standing all the way on the edge of this bridge, as you guys can see right there. And we're going to use the Paw ability to try to hit him. All right, heavy Paw. Let's see if that hits him. Let's see if that... Ah, oh, I aimed it too high. We're going to try that again. Let's aim right here. Too low? That one should hit. That one should hit. That one should hit. Oh, it hit him. It hit him. Yo, the rage is infinite. All right, so this myth's confirmed. Paul does have infinite range. The next myth says that the light move of Kilo can go on forever. So let's go ahead and try this out. This is the light move. Apparently, this can go on forever. So by the end of this, I should be in the stratosphere. It's been about two and a half minutes to be holding this. I'm going to say this is true. You can use this move forever because this is not stopping. Myth number three is that Awakened Buddha and Unawakened Buddha both have the same M1 range. So my friend here has Awakened Buddha. I have Unawakened Buddha. So for me to M1 with Unawakened Buddha, I need to be within this range minimum. Now I'm going to have Kazeki pull up with his Awakened Buddha, be slightly further behind me and see if he can still hit him. But Kazeki's a little bit behind me. Try M1-ing. M1. And he's not able to hit him. So this myth is actually true. That's actually weird. As big as he is, you would think the range would be increased. Next myth says that third sea fruit got gives you better luck. Now to test this out, I'm going to have to go back to first C. All right, so here we are in first C. First C, gotcha. What do I get? And I get a chop fruit. Kind of fitting since it's first C. I got my friend in second C. He's about to do a gotcha. Let's see what he gets. And he gets a spike. I guess that's slightly better than chop. So, so far, this is looking a little bit true, but let's go to third C and see what we get there. And lastly, in third C, we have my boy Rip Guy rolling for one. Barrier. Wow. Okay, so this actually was the best one. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of surprising. So I guess myth confirmed. Next myth says that pilot helmet is the same speed as Mink V3. Three. So I'm going to go ahead and change my race till I get meek. And then we're going to test this out. Me and my friend are going to race to the end of the bridge on three, two, one, go. No dashing either. Oh, 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 I'm actually smoking them. I'm actually smoking them. Yo, yo, pilot helmet is not the same speed as Meek V3. This myth is busted. This is just not true at all. Like, even without V3, it's still slow. Next myth, apparently love flight can glitch more than four people in a fruit raid. All right, so I got my boy Rip Guy on the Flamingo. Now, normally, as you guys can see, you can only do four slots per raid. But with Rip Guy on my back, if I stand right here like so, it'll go green and Rip Guy will get teleported in the raid with me. Let's see, will Rip Guy actually get teleported with us? Oh my gosh, he actually came with me. So we have five people in this raid realistically you could get eight people in this okay so this myth's confirmed and while we're here the next myth is that you can eat a fruit while inside of a raid so let me go to my inventory real quick there we go add it to backpack let me see if i can eat this fruit i never even knew you could do this oh you could actually eat a fruit in a raid flame fruit activated so this myth is also confirmed next myth is that control apparently can make a boat float i gotta say this for myself all right so my friend kazaki has control and he's about to try to make the boat float let's see if he does it. oh you can actually do it he's flinging us <laughs> What the hell? He just exploded the entire boat. Okay, so that myth is true. That's actually insane. Next myth says that if you're low health, that the Venom flight goes faster. I've heard this myth a lot throughout the days. I've never once noticed it myself, but let's go ahead and try it. Serpent's Wrath. Okay, so I'm going this speed right now. This seems about normal speed. Okay, one more hit. There we go. It does look a little bit faster. It does look a little bit fast. I don't know by much, but it is slightly faster. I will say that. So this myth is actually confirmed. Next myth is that walking over different materials and blocks fruits has a different sound. So Let's say grass versus the carpet versus the concrete. Okay, you guys can hear that. Okay, that's concrete. Let's look at grass. It does have a slightly different sound to it. I was going here and it has an even different sound. So this is true. This is true. Next myth is that rubber is both immune to Goro and guns. Now, obviously, Luffy's immune to it in the anime, but is this true in the game as well? Try to hit me with your rumble moves. Oh. Oh, none of that. None of that is hitting. So I'm completely immune to all of that. That's that's actually OP. Let's see if the gun hits me. All right, so Kazuki has a soul guitar. Try to hit me with the moves. Okay, the shoot doesn't work. That doesn't work. That's actually insane. So this myth is actually true. Rubber is both immune to guns and Goro. Next myth is that you can flamingo ride NPCs. So obviously, we already know that you can flamingo ride your friends. But the question is, can you do it to NPCs? All right, so it worked on my partner. Let's see. Can I flamingo ride this guy? You could actually flamingo ride NPCs? That is crazy. And he can't even attack me either. He's literally just stuck on this flamingo. Okay, so this myth is true. That's that's true. The next myth says that Leopard has infinite sky jumps. So normally you only have 10 sky jumps, 9, 10, and I can no longer sky jump. With Leopard, what you can do is you can go all the way up to the 10. Now I'm out of sky jumps. Let me hold spiraling kick. Let me use that. And now I have 10 more sky jumps. And if I keep holding my abilities, I can wait until that comes back and just keep repeating that over and over again. So this myth is actually true, boys. And while we're on Leopard, the next 
next myth is that leopard transformation makes it to where you take no damage standing on top of lava. We're now at lava right now. Normally when you stand on this, you take damage as you guys can see, but will I take damage when I go leopard form? Let's see. Wow, so leopard can literally just stand on lava. That is actually broken. That's busted. Myth confirmed. And now for the 15th myth, apparently if two people use the spiky try to move at the same time, it'll bug the game out. Okay, so let's do it at the same time. Go. Oh. Oh, 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 that's, that's actually true. That myth confirmed. Myth number 16. Apparently, if you use light flight in the frog room under the cafe, it'll kick you from the game. Let me teleport into the frog room like so. Let me go in here and let's use light flight. Okay, so this is kind of crazy. Apparently, if I just hold it like this for a while, I'll get kicked from the game. Well, after trying it out for a while, I tried to do it multiple different times. I can say this myth is busted. It's not true. You don't get kicked from the game, but it is a fun thing to do. The next myth says, though, the higher you are with Kilo, the more damage you deal. So obviously we know the Kilo user in the anime, the higher she is, the more damage she's going to deal. But I don't think that's true in this game. I don't believe it at all. So let's test the base damage of Kilo right here. 10,000 kilograms. How much damage does this deal? 1439. Okay, so now let me go higher up. So let me go from this distance right here. Boom. 1439. It's the same damage, so it doesn't matter how high you go, it's gonna be the same damage. So this myth is busted. Next myth, apparently if you boot a shift, then use hockey, then unboot a shift, it'll mess up the hockey. So let me equip a Buddha again. You guys can see I have full body hockey right here just so we can demonstrate this properly. Let me transform. And then I use hockey and then let me untransform. Uh it doesn't seem like anything really changed. Let me try that again with awaken Buddha. Awaken Buddha shift. There we go. Now let me use hockey. And then let me unshift, boom. And oh, it actually messed up my head. So this myth is actually confirmed. It messed up my head. Like the hockey's no longer on my head, okay. Myth number 19, apparently portal can make you invisible. Okay, so Kazeki, I'm gonna have you use your portal move. When I say go, try to use it and see if you're invisible. Okay, you use that ability. And now he is completely oh. invisible. Let me use Observation Hockey. I can't see him at all. He's in a completely different playing field. That is insane. So this myth is confirmed. I always thought this one was interesting. Next myth, apparently the Angel V3 can heal you faster than you lose health in water. Now, I do not believe this whatsoever, but we're going to find out ourselves once and for all. Really don't believe this is going to do much, but let's see. Okay, we're losing health. Okay, and this is doing nothing to my health loss from the water. It, it didn't even slow it down. I didn't even notice. So this myth is busted. Next myth you can have the range of Buddha without being in the shift form. I've seen a lot of people do this glitch. What you do is you go shift form like this. Okay, so I unshift and boom. Oh, and my sword is big. And I also have an increased range. Like, look at this. I'm gonna hit this guy. You guys can see how far I'm hitting him from over here. But this is this myth is true. This myth is true. You can have the range of Buddha without needing to be in shift form. You just have to time it right. Next myth, apparently you can use the control gamma rush even outside of your room. All right, guys, and to test this out, I have my friend Kazeki inside his room. He's gonna hit me with the gamma rush outside of the room. You guys can see right here. Oh. Oh, he's actually able to hit me from outside the room? That's actually insane. That is actually insane, bro. <laughs> what the hell? So this myth is actually true. You can hit the Gamma Rush even outside of the control room. OP. That's OP as hell. Next myth, if you hold Dragon C while talking to the fruit remover, it'll make you flow forever. Now, I can't believe I'm about to waste a dragon for the sake of this video, but hey, I'll do it for y'all. I'll do it for y'all. Let's eat this thing. All right, so what I have to do is I have to hold the fire shower, talk to him, and remove it all at the same time. Okay, let's, let's remove it. Oh, oh, he said stop removing. He said stop doing something. Okay, so let me try doing this. Let me hold an ability okay we're holding a move we're talking to him stop using your ability first so this myth is busted you can't even talk to him while using an ability that actually sucks i thought that was going to be an interesting one while we're on dragon let's go ahead and do this next myth apparently if you hold the dragon heat wave b move it'll disappear after holding it for a long time so let's sit here hold this i don't know how long this is going to take i've been standing here for about a minute straight nothing's happening i'm just going to stay here a little bit longer and see if anything happens so far this is not looking good a few minutes later oh it went away after about two minutes of waiting it went invisible it shows nothing no animation or nothing let's see does move still come out oh it does still come out but that myth is true it does go invisible after you hold it for a long time and we are now at the halfway point boys myth number 25 the magma fruit can walk on lava without taking damage now by all means this would make sense for it to not take damage but i don't know i'm always skeptical about it let's check this out oh wait a minute so magma actually makes it to where you take no damage at lava so myth confirmed that is actually true you take no damage with magma next myth if you try to use spiky try to pull on someone sitting in a boat it bugs the game out okay i'm gonna try to pull this guy i uh, didn't really bug out the boat kind of just made it like lean a little bit so i'm gonna say this myth is busted i tried it out twice didn't really do much next myth light flight goes slower when you're low health so unlike venom this will be the exact opposite so let's go ahead and look at light flight right now this is how light flight looks right now it's pretty fast one of the fastest transportations in the game give me a little bit lower there we go that's good let me use shiny flight 
and this is a lot slower. So the exact opposite of the venom fruit. This fruit gets worse the lower health you are. <laughs> well, this myth is confirmed. Next myth, unawakened Buddha is faster than awakened Buddha. So me and my awakened Buddha friend right here are gonna race to the start of the bridge on go. Let's get it, three, two, one, go. No dashes, we're just gonna go regular base running speed. Right now, it seems they're about even. Maybe unawakened Buddha is like slightly faster. Doesn't seem like awakened Buddha or unawakened Buddha have any disadvantage or advantage as far as speed go, and it is a tie. Myth busted, unawakened Buddha is not faster than awakened Buddha. Next myth, piercing clothesline on awakened doe can't go on water. Let's test this out, piercing clothesline. It can. Okay, so this myth is actually busted. Piercing cloth like can go in water, though it doesn't last for long, but it can go in water, so that is actually busted. Next myth, spirit is the fastest fruit in the game. Now there is a spirit glitch that exists that you can do if you have it permanent. What I'm gonna do is wait until this spirit bar goes to nine, and then I'm gonna tap it only when it's on the blue side. As you guys can see right here, I'm pressing it right now, only when it's on the blue side, boom. And then I go quickly switch over to a different fruit. You guys can see I now have a speed boost. You can stack this multiple times and you can get it to the point where the game actually like registers you going too fast and the anti-cheat kicks in. So this myth is actually confirmed. All right, now next myth, supposedly sand takes more damage from quake waves. Now we know crocodile takes double damage from water in the anime. It was true for rubber. Let's see if it's true for this. So I got my boy Yen here. He's about to do the waves, do the waves. And let's see how much damage it does without me being on sand. Okay, these are very anticlimactic waves, but it did 2,920. 2,929 is how much damage I took now. Now I'm going to switch to sand. He's going to do the same thing. Okay. There we go. How much damage was it? 2,929. Same. Okay. So this myth is busted. Sand does not take more damage from quake waves. But while we're on sand, let's go ahead and test if sand takes more damage from the water than other fruits. So let me go in here. Let's see. Okay. Damn. 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 I that quick? What the hell? Okay. That definitely seemed faster than other fruits. But just for reference, let's go ahead and test it out with a different fruit. Now let's see how quick we die with leopard, bro. Okay. Okay. Oh, you definitely died quicker with sand. Like I died so quick with sand. So that myth is actually true. Sand does take more damage in water than any other fruit. Next myth says that if you get teleported to lava and stand still, you won't take any damage from the lava. So I'm gonna have one of my friends teleport me over there. All right, teleport me to lava. And this is actually true. I'm not taking no damage. My hand is off the keyboard. I'm not taking any damage, but hold on, let me see. As soon as I start moving, I start taking damage. Okay, so that myth is actually true. Next myth, typing sub to winter clouds in chat before doing our gotcha guarantees you a legendary. Believe it or not, I. Actually actually have history of this being true. Just look at this clip right here. He typed in slash sub to winter claws. <laughs> That's gonna get him a legendary for sure. He got a rumble. No, no, no way, no way. So you guys can see he got a rumble by saying that. So let's type it in chat sub to winter clouds. And then let's go ahead and do a gotcha. I, I should be guaranteed to get a legendary, right? Bro, no way I got a quake. We got a legendary from that? That is actually insane. Myth confirmed, myth confirmed. Next myth says that you can use unawakened dough roller on the water if you have the shark race. Now we all know typically roller donut does not work on water. As soon as you try to use it in water, it just, you know, interrupts the move and you start taking damage. Question is, will this work with the Fishman race? Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, oh, you can actually use it with the Fishman race. Okay, so if you have Fishman, you can actually use the Roller Donut Unawakened and they, it'll, it'll be a decent transportation move. Okay, so this myth is actually true. And all right, boys, the next myth is that you can reach the beautiful pirate domain through a hidden passage in the Yama waterfall. So there's an area you can go in the waterfall right over here, but apparently there's a hidden secret passage area right up here there's a little gap right here and if you go under here you can see the entire map of third sea and uh i guess now we just got to find the beautiful pirate domain area which i believe is right here right under the great tree so let me go ahead and go over here beautiful pirate domain okay let me try to see if i can glitch in there there we go. We glitched through and we've reached the beautiful pirate domain. So that's actually true. That's actually kind of interesting, bro. I never even knew about that. Coming up next, the Whitebeard Cape logo changes depending on if you're a Marine or pirate. I think this is it right here. Accessory coat. Okay, here we are right here. You guys can see it's the Whitebeard pirate emblem right now. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy, Marine recruiter. And there you guys go. You see, you see the logo, not only just the logo, but the color of it actually changed too. So this myth is actually confirmed. Next myth, if you hold Dark Bomb above your head for a long time, it'll stay there forever. I'm assuming this is going to be similar to the dragon one where i have to hold it for like two minutes so let's just go ahead and try this one out dark bomb this will actually be lit if this stays above my head forever though a few minutes later i've been standing here for about four minutes uh nothing's happening i'm just gonna let it go and see if anything happens nothing happens so i guess this myth is busted it doesn't stay on my head forever i was hoping it would but that uh, that's a little disappointing the next myth is actually suggested by one of the fans in the server he says if you hold an ability while going in the portal your game is gonna bug i think he means the portal up here so let's go ahead and do this let's hold um oh 
when I hold I held an ability, it didn't really bug my game, but it just didn't teleport me. Hold on, let me just try this again. Great spear. And it just straight up didn't teleport me. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's considered bugging because it kind of broke the teleport and made it not work. But I would say that's definitely myth busted. Next myth, apparently, if you use God Human while sitting in a boat at the same time, it'll make the boat bug out. All right, got God Human. Now let's spawn Swan Boat. I think what I have to do is I have to like use this. Oh, okay, that didn't really do much. Let me see. Try this one more time to try to get it as glitchy as I'm looking for. So, let me just try doing this. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, myth confirmed. It did make the boat bug out like crazy. I like that. That's why I like to see. That's why I like to see. You know what I'm saying? And with that, we have only 10 myths left to bust. We almost there, boys. It's been a bit of a journey. Next myth, you can get a permanent Phoenix Ore if you use the healing move and fast kick at the same time. So, let's try to do this real quick. Blue flames, fast kick. Uh, I don't think there's any physical way we could do it at the same time. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. So I tried to use it at the same time. Uh, I don't know if this works. Can you even do it at the same time? Give it one more try. Let's give it one more try. This time I'll try to do fast kick first. And then maybe blue flame. Uh, you can't do it. You can't do it. That's third time I tried. So this myth is busted. I was hoping this was going to be true, but I guess it's not. But that's not the only Phoenix myth I have. Apparently going half form makes you lose your limbs. So let me go to hybrid flight real quick. Um, it replaces my arms with wings, but let's see if they come back. Okay, so they came back. No worries, though. I'm going to try to awaken every move once again and see if that maybe bugs them out. Okay, let's awaken all the moves. Swift flight. Okay, so now my arms are replaced with bigger wings. Now let's undo these. And my arms are still there. So I don't know if this myth is busted just yet. I'm going to give it another try and we'll see if I can get it to glitch. Well, after several attempts of trying to get this to glitch, um, I can't seem to make it make my limbs go away. I could have sworn this happened to me once before, but for now, I'm just gonna have to say myth busted. Next myth, you can awaken a fruit without even having to do a raid. So if you guys go to cafe, go under here, go all the way to this corner right here and then teleport. So you guys can see I am now under the map in second seat. Now, if you go all the way over to, I think it's right there, that building right there, there's a little platform right here. If you look inside of it, you guys can see this is the awakening room right there. All right, I managed to get inside the room. So now I'm gonna switch to a fruit that I'm able to awaken. And hopefully we'll be able to talk to this guy and awaken one of my fruits. Let me talk to him. Greetings mortal what do you seek ascension wait wait you cannot talk to this npc okay okay i got really excited there this myth is busted though you have to actually go through the raid you can get in the room which is cool but it's not gonna let you away next myth says ice moves can damage sea beasts now, there's actually a lot of fruits that can't damage sea beasts like a lot of portal moves don't work on sea beasts so i'm curious to see if this is actually true all right we got a sea beast now it's time to see do the moves do damage let me check m1 okay m1 does no damage ice spears okay ice spears do damage ice surge Ice Surge did no damage. Let me see. Ice Bird. Ice Bird did damage. Glacial Epoch. Does this damage? Glacial Epoch did no damage. So this myth is confirmed. While we're still on ice, let's go ahead and test out this next myth. Ice can stand on lava without taking damage. Obviously, Leopard could do it. Magma could do it. Let's see if Ice could do it. Let's stand on it. And this myth is busted. Damn. I died quick as hell. Damn. Yep, yeah, that myth was definitely busted. Ice cannot walk on lava like leopard or magma can. We only have five more myths to go, boys. Next myth, the control fruit can pick up the second C bridge. I'm on my alt right now with the control fruit. Let me use room. Let's see if we can levitate this bridge. Levitate. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. You actually can break the bridge and levitate it. Okay, that's fire. That is fire right there. Yes, sir. Okay, so we could destroy the whole bridge like we bobbed a billet or something, bro. That is fire. That is fire. And that myth is confirmed. But that's not the only myth I have with control. The next myth is that control can cut through barriers moves. So as you guys can see right here, I can cut through this tree with the levitate move. I just cut off the top of that tree. But what we're trying to prove is if Ope can cut through the barrier moves or not. So I got my friend here with barrier. He's got the wall right there. Let me see. Uh, okay, so that is not a good sign it's not actually cutting the barrier move it's just making a rock out of it okay we got the stairs now let me see uh doesn't look like it can actually cut through control cannot cut through barriers moves it just simply replicates the color through the rock next myth being a marine gets you better luck in the fruit gotcha so to test this theory out what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna roll right now as a pirate i'm gonna go on a different alt account as a marine and we're gonna compare what we got and let's see what i get as a pirate i get the bomb fruit okay let me drop that Okay, now we are on my alt account as a marine. Um, I don't know why it's in first seat, but let's go ahead and do a gotcha here and let's see what we get. Yes, sir. A barrier fruit. So 
technically this is worth more than bomb. So technically this myth's true. Myth number 49, the damage you take from water in each sea is different. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and test this out in first sea. I have the portal fruit. I also switched my race. Let's see. Okay, so I'm dying pretty quick. Uh, I think that took me like maybe like five or six seconds to die. Let's go ahead and try this out in second sea. Second sea attempts now. Let's go in the water. Okay, okay. That feels about the same to me. Third C test now. Let's see how quick we die. And this appears to be all at the same rate. There's no changes. So this myth is 100% busted. Each C drains your health at the same rate. And for the final myth, the love flamingo ride can make boats fly. Now I tested out this myth in another video where I was trying out TikTok glitches. Let me try to get it. Oh, he got it there. He got there. Okay. Okay, does this work? Does this work? No, it appears it doesn't. And uh, y'all all claimed I did it wrong. Y'all claimed it was actually true. So we're about to try it right now. And what I have to do now is try to sit him down. So this is going to be a little bit of a process. It might take me a little bit. Okay, there we go. I think he sat down now. Um, it didn't glitch the boat at all. So I think I might have did that wrong. Let me see. Let me try to back him into it. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It kind of glitched the boat there a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Let me back it up ever so slightly. Oh, 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 oh. It, it works. It works. Yo, it's actually confirmed. Y'all saw that? It was messing up the boat. Oh, the boat's floating. The boat's floating. Oh, oh, I actually got it to work perfectly. No way. No way. This is the most fire myth of them all, bro. This is actually crazy. I can't believe that actually worked. What a fire way to end the video.